Today, we are going to be talking about the use of beta-2 agonists in treating hyperkalemia, specifically nebulized albuterol. As a quick refresher, hyperkalemia is a condition characterized by high serum potassium levels that can become a medical emergency if not properly managed. So how do beta-2 agonists work in treating this emergency? To simplify, these agonists enhance the performance of the sodium-potassium ATPase pump in our skeletal muscles. Essentially, this allows more potassium ions to move from the outside to the inside of the cell, effectively decreasing the extracellular serum potassium levels. Moving on to dosing, the typical dosage for treating hyperkalemia with a beta-2 agonist would be between 10 to 20 milligrams in a 4 milliliter nebulized solution. Now, you might be startled by this because it's four to eight times the dose used for bronchodilation. But remember, we're dealing with a different situation here, hyperkalemia, which requires a different dose. Let's talk about the pharmacology of beta-2 agonists. Typically, the onset of action occurs within approximately 30 minutes. After this point, it has been demonstrated to decrease potassium levels by 0.3 to 0.6 milliequivalents per liter. This decrease lasts for at least two hours. Now, as with any medication, Beta-2 agonists come with their potential adverse effects. Patients may experience rapid heart rates. They might also have tremors or feel anxious and nervous, very similar to the sensation you may experience after drinking too much coffee. So there you have it, a quick look at the use of beta-2 agonists in treating hyperkalemia. Remember that hyperkalemia is a medical emergency, and the use of beta-2 agonists are only one part of the solution and should not be used as monotherapy in emergent situations.